you have this search text, but don't leave users searching for the search's tappable area. Press Command Option G. Now it's a frame, and frames can get fills and strokes. So on the right panel, add a stroke by tapping the stroke. Make it gray. Good. Now you can resize, and the search text moves with it. Great. Until. Now you want to add a search icon. You'd have to move the text and arrange the icon. Now what if you want to add padding? Don't manually move the momentary elements. Grab the frame and press Shift A. Ooh, it's auto layout. Now you can put padding and manage the margins from these boxes. Oh, your stakeholder wants to add a submit button? Duplicate the search text, change it to submit, wrap it in another auto layout, give it a fill around the edges, but we want it floating to the right. You could double click on this grid to justify the spacing, but the text gets centered. So grab that text, hold Alt or Option, and double click at the edge. Now it's filling the space, which is cool because it'll automatically wrap any long search text. But most search bars don't have multiple lines. So how about we truncate it? By going to Typography Settings, go to Truncate, and switch on Truncate. Duplicate it, fade out the submit button, go back to the placeholder styling, add a prototype interaction, and